Uh, well, here's a, dr here's a dramatic one. I'm interested to know if Katya still struggles with addiction. Mm. I know she smokes weed, but wonder if being in clubs, performing every night with a high level accessibility, does she struggle? Oh yeah, for sure. And it's not, it's not the proximity to it um, that is the struggle. It's, um, it, it's the circumstances around it that sort of prohibit me from developing really solid patterns. Like mm. for example, you know, I had no problem with addiction stuff when I was you know, doing Ashtanga yoga every day for two hours in the morning and then had a very small, manageable life. Right. You know, um, but yeah, it's hard. I still smoke. Um, I smoke weed a lot. I, yeah, it's, it's really, it's tough because you, sometimes you think you can get support from people who are very supportive, like fans or whatever. Right. That was a naive, stupid mistake. Um, it wasn't a mistake, but assumption. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, it's, it's tough. What happened? Like, what was the thing that, that happened that was like, where you thought you could get support from the fans? Well, like, I, I thought that the accountability and um, because I was like, oh, I felt very self-conscious about going public with oh, it on the right. show because it just happened. Um, and and I was like, oh, but maybe this will be good because it'll hold me accountable. Oh, girl, please. Right. You know, uh, that it doesn't Is work Is everybody going to be like, girl, you know, we can yeah. always go behind the plates and do whatever. Oh, totally. <laughs> and the thing is, is that with me, it's like I had, <laughs> I had to stop, like, trying to convince people that I was sober, not sober, whatever, because I actually, at my highest level of functioning without any narcotics or whatever, mm -hmm. illegal substances, I act like a twisted crackhead. <laughs> yeah. um, Mama, when you don't see me, that's right. when you should be worried. Okay. You know what I mean? Because she's down in the basement in a wheelbarrow, like, you know, yeah. that's the that's the, right. that's the actual reality of like a real drug addict, you know? You mm. know, if she doesn't return her text, you get worried, and then if she does return it and it's like, picture of her with someone's nuts in her mouth, I'm like, oh, she's fine. Yeah, yeah. She's still really good. But she's if I'm totally in a field fine. alone and you see half a sunset in like a blurry eye, that's like, oh God, she's oh, so girl. <laughs> <laughs> but what I've learned, what I've learned is, is uh, not a straight line and to work in this industry is insane, so. Yeah, nothing is really, I mean, girl, time is a flat circle, honey. How do you work in this industry and then not even develop a substance problem? I mean, especially you know when I mean? it's playing to nightclub, this is the playing to that nightclub, that's pretty hard. For and also, girl, Liza, Bob Fosse, what do you think they did? Oh, they popped speed. <laughs> speed, yeah. speed, hey, ha, <laughs> and Miller. You know, yeah, it's just all day. <laughs> but they were good dancers. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> How do you think they got good? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, queen.